Yep, just stand right out over there. It's a big empty field, so. Okay, guys. Yep, right over on this side, please. Because I do actually walk over, over that area. Oh. Guys, welcome to Cobbs Hill West Cemetery. As you look around, you notice all different shape and size stones. Mm -hmm. Stone like this one. Another one over there with an urn on it. Another one over there. And two more on top of the hill, silhouetted against the trees. The official name for these tall stones are called obelisks. If you get frightened, you need to find Death's Doorway. There was a giant white obelisk right before it. You pass by it, and it's right on the left-hand side. And as you came in the cemetery, you saw the smaller stones. You might have thought to yourself, wow, there's a lot of children of the poor here. That's not the case. Stay right where you are. Think of a cemetery as your final resting place or your final bed. This being your headboard or headstone. This being your footboard or footstone. Mm -hmm. Body's buried in between both these stones. Oh. You can tell a headstone and footstone go together because your name markings on top match. Half round shoulders and a taper. Half round shoulders and a taper. I am stepping over a 13 year old girl right now. This giant gray stone is a replica of the brown stone underneath it. These giant stones were purchased by towns for people of notoriety, lawyers, judges, and doctors. But at one time, these giant stones laid flat on the ground above the deceased body, and they started getting a nickname called a wolf stone. Can anybody tell me why they would nickname these giant stone a wolf stone? Where is she? Something you said earlier. Me? Yeah. Grave robbers? A wolf stone would prevent the wolves, wolves. from digging up the bodies. Oh, oh, wolves, yeah. though, not being a four-legged furry creatures like you're thinking of wolves being another name for. Grave robbers. Grave robbers. Mm. These, these people in notoriety, probably wealthy, very jewels and money. These giant talents would slow down the really? process of exhuming the bodies. Here in New England, though, these giant wolf stones cracking, started cracking under the frost heaps. So you started raising them up off the ground, building the four walls of the church here. The cool thing about this church wall is... There's a brick missing, and you get to see the epitaph of the writing on the inside. See, if you look here, let me the cobwebs out. On the other side, you can see the writing that says the following. I lay here with my hand and my feet in the dark! <laughs> that was me trying to be funny. <laughs> He's laughing at you. Did you hear that? <laughs> Ghost going on. <laughs> it's your cell phone. <laughs> no, a digital voice recorder. That's not a cell phone. It's a little tiny cell phone. No. <laughs> the reason why I do that, yeah, okay, there's no epitaph in there. There's no writing on the inside. Who'd read it anyways? And there's nobody. But what's probably in there is spiders or snakes. So when I pull my hand out one of these days, I'm going to have something attached to my hand. The reason why I do that is for the giggles. I do that, honestly, doing that, you know, everybody gets scared and then they start laughing. One night, my favorite, my funniest laugh, I had a woman, like, literally on over my back looking in, and I did that, and she went, oop, I just peed. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why I want you to, the reason why I want you to giggle and laugh, I do. Because you are in an actively haunted cemetery, and you're in a cemetery, and you might be nervous. They say laughter eases tension. I want you nice and relaxed. Because here comes the stories. Okay. For years, people have seen a tall, dark, shadowy figure in the cemetery here, as well as a little girl playing in between the headstones. Well, I heard this sto story and interviewed many people here in town, and then I investigated the cemetery and came up with a lot of evidence. Now, it wasn't until really I brought my, the tours in here that people on the tour, as well as myself, started having more experiences. One night, I had a family of four, a mom and dad, and their adult kids. Someone was in his 20, daughter was about 17. In the beginning of the tour, the daughter said to me, I never seen a ghost. I want to see something. Well, she did get her answer here in the cemetery. Unfortunately, so didn't her brother, who never even asked. The tour is ending. We're going through death's doorway. When all of a sudden I hear a scream, I turn around, and here comes the brother holding up his sister. She's hyperventilating and crying and walking funny. I run up to her and ask her how her ankle was because I thought she tripped over one of the footstones. As she runs past me crying into her mother's arms, I hear the brother say it's not her ankle. And when I look at him, literally his face is white as a ghost. I asked him what happened. He said they were standing by the white obelisk, by Death's doorway, waiting for everybody to leave the cemetery. 
because they want to get one final picture of the cemetery with nobody in it. As that last person passed, they turned around, and when they turned around, there standing in front of them was this dark, shadowy figure, so close and so solid that it, they could not see any of the headstones that were darkened out mm. by him. Mm. And there would have been illuminated by that spotlight. And when they came across it, a pain sat in their stomach. The story was, and I never gave it away until now, if your stomach starts hurting, that means he's around. So pay attention to that tonight when you walk through the cemetery. And I'm not going to tell you where. Well, on Monday and Friday nights, I do what is called a ghost hunter's tour. I hand out digital voice recorders, and for one hour, we go ghost hunting in here, trying to collect EVPs, electronic voice phenomena. This is when you ask questions out loud to the dead. You usually don't get any. You don't usually hear anything with your own ears. It's when you play the recorders back. Sometimes you get answers. Well, last year I had uh, two couples from New York befriend one another on the tour. And they decided to go ghost hunting all together. Now, for my more daring ghost hunters, or people who like ghost stories, the top of the hill up there is the more physically acting part of the cemetery. People have physical encounters up there. Well, the four of them, being not afraid, and one spouse of each of the couples did not believe in ghosts, they were on the tour abusing their partner, decided to go up there. I went down the wall like Nancy is now, when all of a sudden I see four flashlights streamlined out of the cemetery. One of the guys, a professional bodybuilder, is pulling at his hair, can't believe what he, he actually felt and experienced. The other gentleman was a portly fellow, collapsed at my feet on the tar, I made sure he was okay, and then I asked him what happened. All four of them had an experience while up there. The gentleman with the muscles was the one telling the first part of the story. He said they were up over the hill in the Nye family plot. They were standing around the third headstone called Crocker Nye. He was asking questions when all of a sudden he got a tightening in his chest and he couldn't breathe anymore. The poorly fellow said he got shoved from behind and fell forward. One of the ladies said she got a tickling on the back of her neck and then it felt like a hand grabbed her. But the creepiest one of all was one of the ladies who did not believe in ghosts. Watched all three people have an experience when all of a sudden she felt a hand come and squeeze her on the face. Like teaching her a lesson. All four of them now are friends of mine on Facebook and all believe in ghosts. And now they're ghost hunters because of this experience. <coughs> now on Monday and Friday night I hand out digital voice recorders. Over there in the far corner in the black wrought iron fence. There, You can go in there. It's called the Davis Family Plot. You go onto the opposite side where the tree is and you come up into it. People go in there and have strange internal sensations. Nothing physical, but just internal sensations. Hopefully for tonight you'll go in there. Group was in there, they asked a question. Are you happy here? When they played the recorder back, there was a little girl's voice that said, Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. By the crooked pine tree. The group was down there into that family plot. They asked a question. How old are you? When they played the recorder back, there was a little girl's voice that said, Five. But my all-time favorite two recordings, the first one, comes from right here. At a Barnstable firefighter and his wife on the tour, they're asking questions. The recording voice they get had nothing to do with their questions. You heard a man's voice say, is that a gun? We looked around like, what are these talking about? Then we looked at their flashlight. That's the only reason why I think it said that, because they had a flashlight like this, but with a big bulb on top and a battery pack at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But my all-time favorite recording comes from underneath those three trees. I had two women sitting on the grass underneath those three trees. They asked the question, do you like the tourists coming through here? When they played the recorder back, there was a man's voice that said, no. <laughs> so guys, that's only one one hundredth of the stories I'm telling you from the cemetery. Guys, you're going to have five to ten minutes to walk around on your own. No touching of headstones and no running. And also no smoking inside the cemetery. Guys, have fun. <laughs> Where do you want to go, Missy? Yeah, yeah, go in there. Yeah, yeah. just don't gate on it. You want to go in there? Yeah. Okay. Let me go there. Oh, is that a boy? Yeah, I'm not going up there. Are you going up there? Dad, are you going up there? Okay. Dad, are you going up there? I'm not going up there. I don't get anything. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to turn on my car. I'm really used to my camera. On super fine color effect.
Okay, just good on someone's